Hi, I'm Liz Wade. Welcome to today's Spotlight on Global Life, where we explore issues of faith and culture. Today, we share part of the Spotlight program, The Internet and Social Change in Indonesia. Ryan Gertzma and I tell one story about how Indonesians are using social media. Indonesians are using social media to work for justice. Social media has also been important for Indonesians who are fighting for their rights. In 2008, Prita Mulyasari had a terrible experience at the hospital. Her doctors treated her poorly. They told her wrong information about her condition, and they ordered tests that were not needed. She was very angry about her experience. When she got home, she wrote an email about it to friends and family. Some of Mulyasari's friends sent the email to other people. Soon, it spread all over the Internet. A news organization even reported on it. And Mulyasari's doctors saw the report. They were angry, too. They did not think Mulyasari should have written negative things about them. So, they took her to court. They wanted her to pay money and to go to prison. Many people in Indonesia believed the doctors were wrong. But they also thought the doctors would probably win. They believed this because the doctors had money to pay for a good legal expert, and Mulyasari did not. So a group of people started a movement on Facebook. The movement raised money to help Mulyasari pay for her court case. Without the power of the internet, Mulyasari probably would have lost her case. But in 2012, court officials ruled that Mulyasari was innocent. It was because of social media that Mulyasari did not go to prison for expressing her opinion. Do you think social media has the power to change governments and even laws? How do people use social media in your country? To hear the full program, visit our website at www.radioenglish.net.